What's going on, people? It's your boy Fordy, aka Ford Have Mercy. Now, I've just finished watching the game. Oh my god, what was that? Now, you might be thinking, oh, Ford, we got a point away from home. No, we're leading for 87 minutes. Something along those lines. Don't quote me on that, but around 87 minutes. And then they pop up with a goal. 87 minutes against Aston Villa. I don't care if Villa fans are watching this saying, ha ha, look. We was dominating for the first 70 minutes of the game. I only turned up for the last 20 minutes of the game. Oh my God. And you know what? That's definitely two points dropped. I don't care if we're away from home, man. We dominated them from start to 70th minute. We played 90 minutes though, guys. 90 minutes. <sighs> right, let's run through the team now. So, I pretty much got it spot on. Apart from the likes of, who is it? Who started that? I didn't think we should have started. Um, Clark, but again, you can see why Clark will play against his old side, so it's one of those things. I weren't too mad at that, he had a, actually a decent game and probably got mad at the match. Cells and goal don't get me started on cells. I've been telling you guys for a long time now, and know you're gonna say, Oh, I'll give him confidence. I don't care, this is then his ninth game or how many games has he played. Darlow's done nothing wrong. Bring back Elliot. You know what? Bring back Tim Cole. You know what? Bring back Shaka Hislop, man. Seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Man can't catch a cold at all, man. You know, at the back post, gave away the goal. Plenty of times he's flapping at the ball, man. Command your area six foot something, man. Jeez. Oh, man. darla has got me in goal for the Norwich game. I don't care, man. Seriously. Then right back, Yedin had a stormer, set up the goal, got an assist. And again, it was a handful the whole game, man. Absolutely pace as hell. Can give Usain Bolt a run for his money. And it's a shame that he had to go off because I think since when he went off, that was it, game over. Teote came on and then our shape went to piece, to pieces, basically. In defence, we had Lascelles, had an OK game. And then alongside him, as I said before, Clark had a decent game and then Dummett left back. You know the story with Dummett already. Midfield, Richie, Hayden, Shelby didn't really do much. Um, Richie was okay. Hayden had to slot in at right back, obviously, when Yedlin went off, so that was all right. <sighs> I can't believe you lost four right backs now. Four right backs. Stereo unknown. A need to pip in red card. Um, Yedlin injured. James, what's wrong with his calf? I don't know. God, four. And I thought we had a big squad. Right, and then obviously Goofran and left midfield as well. Goofran had a decent game. No worlders from him, from him today, but again... So so, and then obviously up front, Diame. Don't get me started on Diame. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get started on Diame. Diame. I tweeted this out, and maybe it was in the heat of the moment. But I'm gonna say it again. Are you Shisoku in disguise? Seriously, man, you're lazy, man. Come on, pull your finger out, boy. And then obviously we had Gale up front. <sighs> man, he needs a lifeline or something, man. Get him on who wants to be a millionaire. He needs a lifeline. Help him out, please. Oh right, so start with the game. We took the game to him. First half, it was all us. I don't care what Villa fans want to say. They had a couple of chances, but we was all there. All in force. We had chances after chances. Gale had a chance. Um, there was a kind of dubious penalty. They People on Twitter said, yeah, it was on a penalty. It was a good tackle by the Villa player. I don't give a shit. Sorry, excuse my language. But I thought it might have been a penalty. Anyway, um, two twos now. After that, we went up their ends. Yedlin causing havoc down that wing. Him and Richie combined are going to be absolutely amazing. Put a ball into the box. Elphick turns into his own net. Pretty much chancelling Ben Barish from the last week against Wolves. And we go 1-0 up. Goal to the good. And I thought, yeah, that's good. But again, we need that second goal. I said we needed to win 2-0. I don't feel that we can win 1-0. We haven't got the squad, all the players to win 1-0 at the moment. Um, chances came after that. da di da di da Fast forward to the second half. Second half comes out and I was... I was bricking it. I was bricking it because I knew we they were going to come at us. They're not going to just let us have a 1-0 victory at Villa Park just like that. Second half comes out. Um, both teams come out. Villa make changes, of course. You know, they can't be doing this on their own turf. Um, and then we still had chances. Diame's chance. What are you doing, bloods? Seriously. Diame's chance went over the bar. Um, if you don't know, I'm not going to put the highlights on this. I'm just going to do this raw. Sorry, guys. Um, Diame's one of, over the bar Gale's one right at the keeper man should have buried that one come on Dwighty come on boy um, and then we made changes finally we brought off Dwight Gale for Mitro Mitro didn't do a lot obviously Edin had to come off which is unfortunate for Teote Teote of all people wow come out of the blue um, and then who else was there 
I think that was it. I can't even remember anyway. Anyway, whoever was, whoever else was that was irrelevant. Obviously, as I said before, Villa made changes. They brought on the goal scorer. To sh- I'm not gonna. In fact, I'm gonna attempt the name. But I'm probably gonna butcher it anyway. Tishola Bola. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still mad at the moment. You can tell. Right, so we get into the final 20 minutes of the game. For some reason, we put on paper boots at half-time because we couldn't get the ball down and play, giving the ball away all the time. We're soaking up the pressure. Sales kept coming out and flapping at balls. You know, can't catch a cross. Allergic to crosses like flipping Dracula or whatever it is. Um, and then the 87th minute, they had corner after corner. Balls floated into the box. Back post, Hayden was marking or trying to mark. He's not a natural defender, but he can play there. And then that guy that I can't even pronounce, Tisha Bola. Oh, God, I'm butchering it again, I know. Heads it into the back post. 1-1 and pretty much game. Well, not game over, but you know what I'm talking about. And to be honest with you, they had opportunities to win the game. I'm not going to lie. Villa fans, I'm going to give you this one. You know what? You could have won the game. We should have killed you off in the first half, on the first 70 minutes. But the last 20 minutes, it was yours. And you know what? If you did it, I could even hate but I'm glad, I'm glad we came away with a point because obviously a point's better than nothing. But again, same old story from last season. We failed to beat Villa again and we was all over them. Right, so moving on. Okay, positives, moving on. So we scored at Villa. That's a positive. <laughs> and then so I'm shugging after that. Seriously, right, going into the next game, I'm sorry, sales has got to be dropped. I know you're going to say, oh, give him more games. Yeah, he's good. And Rafa, we trust. I know, I love Rafa as well, man. I'm a Rafa fan, trust me. But again, I don't trust him, man. I don't even trust him to hold a newborn at the moment. Come on. So Darlow has to go in for me. If not, Edit needs to get well soon or something. Stick my nan in goal or something like that, man. RIP to my nan. In fact, sorry. Um, so anyone, please. Also, we need to sort the striker situation out because Gale is not getting enough service up top by himself. He is not. And again, boy, when he does, he's not worth finishing boots all the time, has he? Come on. He's fell off since that, that goal against Bristol. Come on. Oh, ah, don't know else to say about that, but pff, I'm just going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for listening, guys. Sorry I can't be more positive, but I'm just doing this raw with emotion straight after the final whistle. I'm just going to upload it. No graphics, no nothing, because, boy, I just think that we dropped two points here. We honestly did. And, pff, yeah, I know we've got the best fans in the world, and um, I know we're probably going to get promoted still, but... Games like this, we should be put into bed, man. We're currently, what, fifth? I think fifth on the table and Villa are like 16th or 17th. So, boy, this is a missed opportunity because obviously Norwich won, but Huddersfield lost. And that was a missed opportunity to gain some points on those. But it's one of those things, man. On to the next game. Thank you guys for listening. As always, guys, thank you for being patient. And I hope you was watching the second half live stream. Sorry it went tits up in the first half. Um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching and um, keep it tuned. Peace.